Hey everyone and welcome back to Everybody's Looking for Tomatoes. Today is going to be a little eating show with some cocktail shrimp. I bought this at Stop and Shop. Um, and um, it's a grocery store over here in Long Island. I don't know where else they have it. Um, and yeah, this is the jumbo shrimp cocktail. So... Anyways, I got some wasabi, some soy sauce, the cocktail sauce. I never bought this brand before, so I bought this just in case I didn't like the cocktail sauce. And I'm going to have some ginger ale. I typically like this brand of ginger ale. You know, even though I got some Debbie Downers at work saying that ginger ale is, is, doesn't have real ginger but so, yeah. and yes hubby I'm borrowing your Billy Joel cup um my husband loves Billy Joel pour some soy sauce so yeah, I sound a little congested because I'm still sicky. It's been like two weeks now. My coworkers are like, you should go to urgent care and get some um, antibiotics and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I will. I just, I'm tired of going to all these doctor's appointments. I think I put a lot. <laughs> Cause this is different from what you know the restaurant gives you I have bought this in H Mart the wasabi so yeah so let's take it's not that big but you know when you cook shrimp they get smaller first bite mm -hmm. Next, we still got meat in there. Doesn't pull out as quick. So yeah, I'm a little congested. I don't know what's wrong with me. It doesn't it doesn't feel like a cold, but my coworker is like, you got a virus. I'm like, I've been feeling sick since my daughter's birthday. So, I don't know if it was a location or the kids we invited had a cold. I don't know. My daughter's sick too, but she's getting over it. Then I got it. Now, my husband told me last night that um, his throat was hurting and he's sick. So I'm like, well, sick in this house. <laughs> Mm -mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Real good. So, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> you know. I've been okay. I've been okay. Um, I've been okay. Some wasabi and soy sauce.
Yep. But yeah, um, so at work, it has been very interesting. So right now, I'm working in an office setting. And there's this um, co-worker, right? She um, used to be a supervisor. She got demoted because there was a complaint about a few people being skipped from the promotion. So she um, um, got to come back to the office instead of going elsewhere. So she came back. But it was funny because it was drama before him. There's a co-worker that been working in the office forever. And um, he was telling the other workers that are not in our same division. Oh, you better watch out. He was telling the interns and the new jacks. Oh, you better watch, watch out because... It, somebody's putting a complaint that you guys are having too much fun, that they can't work, that it seems that you guys aren't busy, blah, 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 blah. So I didn't know what he was saying. So then as soon as he left, the guys were like, come here, come here. And I'm like, what happened? What happened? And they were like, oh, no, be careful. They're watching you guys. You know, you guys only here temporarily. So if they don't like it, they'll send you back out into the field and this and that. And I'm like, so what? They could send me back to the field. Like, it, I've been doing this job for 10 years. I'm not scared to do a little work, you know. But I like where I'm at right now because I've never worked in an area like that before so anyways long story short I felt because he was looking from a distance knowing that the interns were gonna tell me so that guy was like yeah they're telling her so me I always come correct at work I don't step on nobody's toes I talk I you know I have conversations but when it's work it's work and I try to go far beyond what I have to do so I um this you know this co-worker that used to be a supervisor but got demoted temporarily or I don't know it could be years because the complaint was bad so um ever since she came there's always drama always drama like, the first thing was, oh, you guys are coming in late. Nobody's stressed about us coming in late. And plus, when we get there, we're, like, standing around for 20 minutes until the last shift leaves. Anyways, so... I observed her... The ex supervisor. I observed her. And she's like a little princess type. And it seems like a lot of people like to cater to her. So she came in like, this used to be my shit. People get out my way always twitching she don't got a booty twitching and walking around like her shit don't stink <laughs> I'm like excuse me I'll be like I ain't giving you no energy so I ignore her I don't like people like that 
I don't like people that are conceited, that think they shit don't sting, that give me their backs. When I ask a question, they want to be authoritative. When you do something, they think that they're still your supervisor. (laughs) I'm like, pump your brakes. I give you what energy you give me, I give you. So if you want to be like, oh, um, like, for example, I do a job and you're in the mix of doing it. And she's like, who did this? And I say, I did this. I did that. Why? Because it it wasn't done correctly. (laughs) That's. That's how the energy is. So right now it's like no talking. They don't talk to each other. And she'll probably like excuse herself because she knows she ain't doing stuff right. But it ain't my business. If I was somebody else, definitely would have told on her a long time ago. But I'm not a title tell. Like I let people drown in their own, you know, stuff. I'll be like, all right, you're an adult. But anyways, so the second thing was that out of of, um, like, like, you know how they have proper requirements of dress, like a dress code at work. When I saw her, I was like, let me be in proper dress code. And look what happened. My coworker that's been there longer than we have. And got in trouble for being out of dress code. She got in trouble for being out of dress code. <sighs> so. Then there was an issue with emails and stuff. And I got yelled at. Oh, you didn't do this. We told you to do this. I'm like, I did it. The only thing I didn't do was close something out because I emailed the person I emailed and I made tickets or just I didn't close the email because it wasn't my email and I was scared of closing it because I didn't generate the email you know but I did email and did reports for each and every one of them so they were like, you did? I'm like, yeah. I just didn't close it. I'm sorry. Uh, so, she tried to get me with that. I'm like, uh-uh. I may mess up. I may do things, but I do my job. Mm-hmm. I'm like those kids in school. I may not pass, I may not get a hundred in every test, but best believe I'm always doing that extra credit. Best believe I'm doing all that extra projects and credits just to make up for my grade. So as an adult, I do the same thing. I mess up. I know I'm going to mess up, but you know what? I'm going to go far and beyond and do extra stuff to cover my ass. Always cover your ass at work. You have to be always a step ahead of the rest. You can fuck up. You can mess up. But always be on top of your stuff. Write everything down. Do everything far beyond your scope of duties. Just to cover your ass to say. To say. To document that you did it. So. So yeah. So I know she got two people out. I know she's dying to get me out because she don't talk to me. But then again, she made it seem like like she wants to keep her her position. Like she could keep that. Well, I'm not leaving because I fucked up. I'm gonna leave when my doctor says to leave. That's when I'm leaving. So. 
But I don't know. Has any of you had like petty stuff at work? Sometimes I feel my job is like high school and steroids. And I'm like, I had a better time in high school than this right now. Like, this is ridiculous. Grown adults acting like they're children. (sighs) I don't know. I'm at a point in my life that I just want peace and quiet. I just want to have fun. I want to help people. Like, why? Why un- unnecessary stuff? Pure unnecessary stuff. So, comment down below if you ever worked somewhere that your co workers acted like they were still in high school. You know, comment down below. If you ever dealt with people that acted like they were straight up from high school. Because like I tell everybody, that chick is lucky I'm I'm 32, not 22. Because I would have given her a piece of my mind. It would have been ding, 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 ding. Going to be in each other's corners like, yeah. (laughs) Nah, don't ever fight kids. Don't ever fight. Love. No fighting. Just love. Nowadays it's not worth it. You know what's so funny? People that start problems, right? Everybody that starts problems, they're the first ones to call the cops. So... When somebody's trying to start problems with you, you just ignore them and walk away. It's hard. I know it's hard. It took me years to stop defending myself to of people that are irrelevant in my life. Like, they would just pick on me and want to fight me, and I was ready. You know, when the years passed by, like... It's not worth it. What? You beat somebody up and you're the one going to jail. And people are like, oh, I don't care. I'll go to jail. Jail's not cute. Jail is not cute. Jail's is for the bozos. They can't think for themselves. You know, unfortunately, there's people like that. But it's, jail is for greedy people, selfish people who can't think for themselves. Mm-mm. Whoever glorifies jail, they're losers. Who wouldn't want to be free? He's like, oh, you got to you gotta do what you got to do. Get <laughs> Listen, if I had zero dollars in my name, I'll live off the land. I'll start hunting. I'll start living like a no man. I am not going to stress myself because I don't have stuff. And commit crimes. Like, really? If I can learn how to hunt, look how learn how to fish, go fish these crabs. I mean these shrimps for me. <laughs> but um, my work is so childish, so petty. Well, anyways, till next time, I know I'm sicky, 
But I want to share this wonderful shrimp cocktail. Save these for the mama, for the hubby, if they want. You know. Anyways, till next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that post notification bell button for future videos. And comment down below. Comment down below. Anyways, till next time. Love you guys.